Hey guys, what's up? My name is Asher, and today we're doing the start of a cooking series. Today we're just going to be cooking something simple, but it's really tasty. We're going to be cooking in... We're going to be cooking a breakfast sandwich, and let's get started. First up, you're going to want a uh, buttered bread, and then I'll cook that. And then um, the trick, and then this is also going to be a poached egg, not scrambled. And then I'll show you the trick to cooking a poached egg right, which worked every time for me. So let's go cook the bread. While this bread is cooking, it takes longer than usual for this oven that I'm using. So what you're going to want to do is put the bell pepper slices onto the pan. As they cook, they'll get browner and more crispier. And then you can cut them up even more, or you can just lay them flatter onto the bread. And it'll work just fine. Alright, so the bread's about done, and the bell pepper's still not done. So what you're going to do next is you're going to grab whatever greens, uh, lettuce, whatever you want, cabbage, and put it on there. And you need to put uh, more than usual than what you would usually put in a salad because it shrinks. Now, I'm not completely cooking it because um, you don't want it to shrink completely or else where the nutrients will be out of it and it will taste like nothing. So if you don't like greens, but your parents say you have to, this is a good way to do it. If you have extra of anything, you can just put it on the side. Right now, I'm just gonna put it all on the side. And then let's start with the last thing that we're gonna need for cooking. Let's put our egg. All right, so I'm just putting butter on here. And the key to making a poached egg is that butter on there while it's really hot because it will thicken up the white, the white, and then it will make it so it won't cook this. Now this one's a little bit bad, but the mainly it will still it still will be yolky in the inside. So as it gets browner from the butter, you want to uh, flip it. As you can see, there's still butter right there, but we still want to flip it. And if you look at it very closely, you can see that's still wet. So what you're going to do is just flip it off. And this one is bigger than usual, so I'll just leave it how it is. And it looks like the white yolk wasn't surrounded, but really the white is going over the yolk, so it'll cook just as fine. Alright, that's about done. Alright, so now I'm just going to put the bell pepper on here. Uh, there's still one extra, so just eat it. Oh. Last thing we're going to use. I eat it. Um, we were just using these for burritos. So, I thought, well, I'll use the last of it. Put a little bit of salsa on there. So it gives that spice to it. And the crunchy taste of the yolk of the white stuff in the egg will be good with it. And then also that. And then, as you can see, it's still dripping out. And then you have a sandwich. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. And um, comment if you want me to do any more of these. I mean, of course I'm going to do more. But what you want me to cook. And I like cooking a lot. So I'll cook you burritos, pizza sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches like I just did, eggs, anything you guys ask me to do, I'll do it. Um, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!